it would be venting day. Everyone is allowed to go mad and crazy and frustrated for the entire day. We're so against aggression in this society of ours. We all want to be calm, be calm, be civilized. But, and I understand, you know, aggression can create damage, but we need a day where, you know, just someone has a table with pots and they're like, go ahead and break these. This is venting day, go for it. It would probably be happy day and everyone, <laughs> Which is pretty cheesy, but I mean, why would we want a sad holiday? So I guess everyone would just do whatever they want to do that makes them happy for that. You know? That's how we would celebrate. And we'd all just like probably give gifts to each other and you know, kind of like Christmas, I guess. You know? I would probably call it the purge and all crimes will be legal. <laughs> Have a national porn day. Celebrate. Hollywood and that whole area of Los Angeles that does incestuous stuff each year. And yeah, we'll make it about promiscuity. I mean, they've been doing it in the times of the Roman period, so I don't know why we can't endorse it now. Social Anxiety Awareness Day. So basically take a bunch of introverts, team them up with extroverts, and force them to socialize and get together. Maybe, uh, send them off into nature to go for a hike or something and basically the extrovert's job is to get the introvert to talk more and not be so anxious. Well happy because you know we're alive you know that's true you know I think that's every day you know what I mean every day we should be celebrating that we're here you know and on top of that we have all these great opportunities you know. Well I have a math partner you know what I mean and technically like married you know but I'm divorcing her right after Valentine's Day, you know, like I'm getting my calculator back. So you know who you are, Chris Esquivel. It's over between us, right? But I need a new partner for math. So yeah, just letting you know.